isn't it fascinating how the seasons change? I mean, even in your life. I mean, I think how I don't think how I used to think. <laughs> Ever been like that? That's the way I am. You know, when you was in kindergarten, things were different than when you got in, you know, then you got in junior high. Then junior high went to high school and you thought differently, you know, and then for college, you know, and things, your perspectives change so much in this life. And, uh, you know, the things I used to think was really important uh, is really not that important, <laughs> you know, except for what's important. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, in life, you get so many curveballs. You don't have time to figure out stuff. You don't have time to realize, you know, what's going on here. You know, you're caught up in a whirlwind of information and a whirlwind of turmoil, whatever your life backstory may be. And, uh, you know, it's, you, you trying to, by the time you, you, you kind of figure things out, man, half, half your life's over. <laughs> You know, so, you know, we need some direction sometimes. I used to think counseling was a bad thing, you know. Uh, it's got such a bad rap anyway, you know, like, uh, you need some counseling. <laughs> but counseling is just gathering all the information. That way you can make the best choice. Uh, and it's life's all about choices. That's the one thing we, we mess up. You know, everything is a choice. You know, your decision, what you're going to choose, that fork in the road, you know. And we have to reap the consequences of the choices we make so many times in this life. You know, I know I've really reaped a lot of bad harvest you know, seed and everything else, man, down through the years, you know, but I've changed my ways, you know, I've learned just, man, be good, be try to sow some good seed, work on yourself, you know, work on your, your philosophy, you know, your philosophy changes, man, you know, you may be real dogmatic one day in certain things and beliefs and those kind of things, and then you go through life a little bit, and it's kind of like the river's beating on the rocks, you know, you kind of get smoothed out, you know, and it's just a little bit easier easier for you to, to work around with people and things like that. Things are not as rough and hard, you know, and that's one thing I've learned is don't be so hard on each other. Don't be hard, you know, in life. You know, it's hard enough as it is. You know, the, the Bible talks about how, you know, man's sorrows are constant, man, and they're always upwards. But, you know, always look for the good things and look for the correction, you know. Sometimes you have to be corrected, you know, not by others. It doesn't come good unless you're young, you know, so uh, you can get by with that when you're young, but man, when you get older, man, watch how you correct people or talk to people or things like that. A lot of times, you know, I look at how, you know, we always use that scenario, pointing the finger and force, pointing back at yourself or your thumb, whatever, thumbs up, thumbs down, all those kind of things. Uh, but, you know, don't don't judge people so quickly. You know, everybody's living their life and everybody's got to give an account of their life. We all stand before our Father God. That's what I love, man. Our Heavenly Father, that's all I've ever depended on is my heavenly father and, and he'll never let you down he'll he'll always be there he won't you know do anything wrong to you and you know and he sees everything you know nothing is not going to go without being seen you know god always sees those things so god bless you man i love you